Welcome to Knowles 24-7. Today, we've got a position change to discuss. The Seminoles are moving Amorian Duke Cooper, a third-year player from South Florida, from cornerback to safety. This was first reported at Knowles247.com on Wednesday morning. <clears throat> and it's a move that I'm really excited about. It's one that I kind of considered after the bowl game against Oklahoma that I thought would make sense for both sides. And I'm going to walk you through today, one, why the change is happening, and two, why I'm a big fan of it. First, a little background on Duke Cooper. He's a former four-star recruit from Lehigh Acres in Southwest Florida. FSU got a huge recruiting win in keeping him in-state in the 2021 cycle by fending off a late push for Michigan, a school that's pretty damn good at evaluating and developing defenders. So Duke was a huge bright spot for FSU in 2021 as a true freshman. He entered the starting lineup about midway through the season and never looked back. He had some preseason injuries that he had to kind of deal, deal with and get through, but once that happened, uh, there was really never any turning back for the Seminoles. He was inserted in the starting lineup against Miami, and the Hurricanes had a really tough time going after him. They threw an interception against Duke. He also had multiple PBUs that game and was excellent in general in that contest. He ended up continuing that throughout the rest of the season as well, giving up an NFL passer rating of 39.2 when targeted. Now, for context... If you're in the NFL, you're a quarterback, you throw the ball into the ground and spike it, uh, you get a pass rating of, let me pull this up here, 39.58. So you'd be better off, in theory, throwing the ball into the dirt than throwing it to Duke Cooper in 2021. And he took that goodwill and positivity with him into the 2022 offseason. He was excellent in spring ball, looked to be like a true number one, leave him on an island type of cornerback. He was developing into that. He was excellent in spring, really proving to be a shutdown corner. However, he didn't seem quite like himself in preseason camp. And then he suffered an injury right before the regular season started. Ended up playing hurt for most of the year to the point where Adam Fuller discussed his performance against LSU as Duke, quote unquote, giving us his guts because he played through so much pain and, and discomfort early in the year. What ended up happening, as far as I could tell, is that Duke really didn't get confidence back after the slow start. He didn't seem like himself. He wasn't playing with the same level of bravado and, and swagger that he had as a true freshman getting inserted into the starting lineup against Miami. And really, as you start losing confidence at that position, being on an island and cornerback, it's hard to get it back in the middle of the season. We ended up seeing him against Oklahoma getting burnt a couple times, but also making a couple of really good plays in space, including a pivotal tackle that led to a forced fumble. FSU was able to recover it, and it stopped an Oklahoma scoring threat that ultimately played a huge role in the Seminoles winning that bowl game. To me, Duke at safety makes a lot of sense. He has the requisite size at the position. He has some natural ball skills in space, as we saw him as a freshman make a lot of good plays on the football when it was in the air. And those are two traits that you need at safety. You need to have size. You need to be able to play the football well in space. Uh, further, Adam Fuller is probably going to play more man defense this year. So, again, you want a safety that has some good coverage skills. And also, you play a lot of two high looks at safety. So you have to have range. You have to be athletic. Duke Cooper is athletic. He has good range. So he makes sense on paper initially. On FSU's end, the Seminoles have a need at safety. They lose Jamie Robinson, the all-ACC defender, the do-everything safety for them. He was a huge part of FSU's defensive success and being a top-15 unit last year. You do bring back Shaheem Brown, who FSU is extremely high on as a rising junior, as well as Akeem Dent, a veteran that you know who you're getting. But in modern college football, you need about three or four safeties to get through an entire uh, course of the season. Uh, nonetheless, just even a game. You want to get three safeties on the field so you can move guys around, go to different sub packages, use a guy like Shaheen Brown as a blitzer. So getting that third safety in the mix is huge. FSU has playing time available. Duke Cooper can use a fresh start. The sophomore campaign for him was not what he wanted. It's not what FSU wanted, but he has the chance to kind of start anew, learn a new position. And to be honest, FSU has had some success moving guys around in the secondary. Renardo Green, for example, was FSU's best cornerback this past year. He played safety previously. FSU decided to move him. They moved him from corner to safety, back to corner, found success there. Akeem Dent, they moved to corner, back to safety, said, you know what? Safety worked for you. We're going to keep you there. And he really revitalized his career. has been a two-year starter, probably going to be a three-year starter this season. So Duke Cooper moving kind of follows a trend of FSU being willing to be malleable and, and figure things out in the secondary. I think that Duke has a lot of the skill sets that you want at safety. PFF graded him as one of the best run defenders on FSU's defense this past year. 
as well as one of the best tacklers. He was in the 70s in both grades, making him an above average player. So you got a guy who can tackle, you got to have a guy who has shown in the past good ball skills, but now you take a little bit of pressure off him, allow him to see everything and play forward instead of reacting, playing backwards, and it could be a position that really unlocks his skill set. We'll see how he does in the spring in this new role, but he sounds as excited about it. FSU seems optimistic about, about what Duke Cooper can do at safety, and I, for one, think it's a move that makes a lot of sense for both sides. Only time will tell if it works out, but man, it does make a lot of sense on paper.